Thank you so much for joining me today for Everyday Yoga. Today we are going to do a yummy restorative flow down low on the ground. So let's start back on our mats, lying down with your feet on the mat, knees bent. And um, if you have a yoga block, it would be wonderful to have one of those handy. If you don't have a yoga block, maybe get a little creative and see what you might have that might work for you because we're going to start in a nice supported bridge pose. Something that takes very little effort and doesn't require you to engage the hip flexor muscles so that you can really let those hips release. So thinking about a block, if you don't have one handy, you could roll up um, a towel or a blanket, or you could even use a small foam roller. Um, you could use a, a cushion from your couch, perhaps even. Just kind of think about what might work for you. Maybe bring a couple options along and see what works best. And let's begin back on the mat. So once you have found your prop, got a block right here, but again, you could probably make something else work. Let's go ahead and gently lower ourselves down to the mat. You might use your palms and your forearms to ease yourself down low to the ground. Get yourself centered, and if you have a ponytail in the back of the head, you might want to move it to the side or take it out altogether. And with the soles of the feet on the floor, go ahead and point the knees up towards the sky and press into the soles of the feet to curl the hips up just enough to bring your prop right underneath your sacrum here, the low back. So the part of your prop that's closest to you or closest to your heart, this edge here, is going to be right about where a belt would be if you were wearing one, which hopefully you're not doing yoga because that would suck. It would not be comfortable at all. So just make sure you're not on the tailbone, that this is not causing any pain. And you can take the soles of your feet out as wide as the mat and just let the knees sort of fall in towards one another to sort of kiss and support each other. You can have the arms out to the sides, palms facing up, tucking those shoulders underneath you. Or if it feels good for you, you might rather bring the hands to the belly. And as we're here, let's just go ahead and do three cleansing breaths just to anchor ourselves here into this time together so that your mind is really solidly where you are in the body. So let's inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, maybe making a, a loud sigh or a groan or a grunt or whatever feels good to you. So we'll inhale here, filling up the belly, and exhale to let it go. Inhale here, filling up the belly, and exhale to let it go. One more time. And continuing to breathe through the nose here. Um, if that's available to you, if you have allergies, it might be kind of difficult right now, so just uh, do what feels best for your body. Let's just bring a little bit of a uh, of an intention to our practice today. Let's just be tender with ourselves. So much of the time we are focused on doing and succeeding and accomplishing and moving on towards the next task. Often we are our own worst critics. When we make a mistake we might call ourselves names that aren't very kind. But take this time on the mat today to just know that you're worth it, that you're worth being gentle with, that you're worth being tender with, that you're
you're worth taking care of yourself. The time on your mat is not wasted time, but it's time to rejuvenate yourself and let yourself relax and be restored so that you can, off the mat, do all those things with more of a sense of calmness and a sense of gentleness and gratitude toward your, towards yourself. So with that in mind, let every movement that we make here together today be gentle, be tender, be supportive, be relaxing. So as we continue to stay here in this supported bridge pose, let's go ahead and take some attention to the breath, breathing through the nose if that works for you. And as you inhale, maybe count the number of beats that it takes to inhale. So I'm usually around four. So I would inhale, one, two, three, four. And then exhale, matching that number of beats, whatever it is for you, three, four, five, something around there maybe. And so you would exhale, two, three, four. Inhale two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. And just continue breathing here in this nice balanced breath. Whatever the number of beats is for you, let that be the case. And just continue kind of letting that flow throughout your practice, always coming back to this nice balanced breath. And then let's go ahead and inhale. And as you exhale, begin to heel toe the feet closer to one another and draw one knee and then the other in towards the chest. Cup the knees here in the palms. And the next time you inhale, straighten through the arms and let the knees come away from the collarbones. And as you exhale, bend the elbows and draw the knees a little bit closer to the heart. Inhale to press away. Exhale to draw inward. This is probably a really subtle movement here, but take your awareness down to that low back and see if you can't just give yourself a little bit of a yogi massage here. Maybe letting the knees fall a little bit farther away if that works for you maybe drawing them in a little bit closer. Everybody's range of motion and tenderness in the low back is different, so let this movement be as subtle or as generous as feels good in your body. And then let's go ahead and center those knees over the hips. Bring the palms down to the mat open up through the collarbones so that you're really pressing the triceps in towards the earth and then let's lift one leg at a time up towards the sky this kind of inverted pose here allows the blood that tends to pull down in our lower extremities to come back up towards the heart and towards the brain resets the lymphatic system here you can stay here with your hips supported on a block or down on the earth even as long as you want. You could also do it legs up the wall uh, with the support of a wall at the end of the day, especially if you're on your feet all day. Just taking five minutes to do that would just be such a gift to yourself. And maybe you can rotate your ankles in one direction and then the other. And then let's go ahead and bring the sole of one foot and then the other back down onto the earth. Lift the hips to remove your prop, whatever it is. And then let's come all the way back down to the ground. Let's inhale to draw both knees in towards the chest. Maybe 
Draw the nose up towards the knees as you exhale. And then let's inhale and send everything out long, getting a really good, awesome, full body stretch here, wiggling the toes, wiggling the fingers. And then let's go ahead and exhale, bringing the soles of both feet back to the earth. Let's take the outside of the left ankle to the top of the right knee here. And as you inhale here, kind of press that left thigh away from you, getting some space here in the left hip flexor. This might be as far as you want to go today, or you might want to take your left hand and thread it into the space between the thighs clasping your right hand behind the right thigh here, drawing the right thigh in towards the chest. You can stay here and breathe. You can keep the feet soft here, or if you have any issues, especially in that left knee, make sure to flex through that left foot to keep those um, joints nice and protected here. As you inhale, you might want to press that right thigh into your clasp hands. And as you exhale, you might want to draw the knees closer to the chest. You might want to stay in either, uh, in either position, I guess for lack of a better word, and just breathe. So I'm drawing my knees in really close to get that awesome stretch in the outer left thigh, that IT band there. Breathing here, finding what feels good for you. And let's go ahead and inhale, extending the right sole of the foot up to the sky flexing through the foot, and then exhale to soften the foot and bend the knee. Inhale to extend and flex. Exhale to bend and soften. Inhale to extend and flex, and then stay here, really flexing through that foot and drawing those toes down towards the face. You can stay here, or if you have the flexibility and it feels good for you, you can reach around to the calf and clasp the calf. You might even take your thumbs and fingertips here and give yourself a little bit of a massage. That muscle right along the shin here can be really difficult to get into. So if you do a lot of walking, that might be tender here, but it might be a really great opportunity to give yourself a little massage here. So wherever you find yourself, just stay there for a couple of breaths, enjoying the sensations. And then when you're ready to release, let's go ahead and bend that right knee. Unwind everything. Inhale to stretch everything out long again. And then exhale to draw the soles of the feet back to the mat. Let's go ahead and do that little ditty on the other side. So bring the right ankle to the top of the left thigh and maybe Give yourself a little bit of a massage here on that right thigh, pressing the thigh away, making space in the right hip flexor. Always feeling free here to keep the eyes open or closed, whatever feels good to you. And then either staying here or threading the right hand through the space between the thighs and drawing the left thigh in towards the chest. You might. Flex the foot if the knee is sensitive here, drawing that pinky toe up towards the knee. Or you can keep it soft if that feels better. You can inhale to press that left thigh into the hands and exhale to draw it inward. Or you can find the position that serves you best and stay there for a couple breaths. Notice what you feel. 
Breathe into any areas of tenderness and soften wherever you can. Maybe the jaw, maybe the shoulders or the neck. Just relax. When you're ready, let's inhale to lengthen through that right or left leg and exhale to bend. The leg might come all the way straight or maybe you might still have pretty generous bend in the knee. Either way is okay. And the third time you extend up toward the sky with the foot flex is the last time. So we'll just stay here. And again, we can stay here with the thigh clasp or we can reach over the right leg and clasp around the left calf and give yourself that little self massage here on the left side getting into any areas that might be difficult to stretch. Just allowing yourself to be your own healer. Breathing here, wherever you find yourself for a couple breaths. And then let's go ahead and let the knees come away, release and unwind, stretch everything out nice and long. And then let's bring the palms alongside the hips, pressing into those triceps, bring the soles of the feet back to the earth, knees parallel and pointed up towards the sky. And we'll just do some little rolling bridges here. So let's Inhale and tilt the pelvis towards the face and exhale to tilt the pelvis away. So we're just kind of rocking the pelvis back and forth here like it's a little bowl on the earth. Just pressing the low back to the mat and as you send the hips away the low back kind of lifts. And then let's make that a little bit more of a generous movement. So let's inhale and lift the hips from the earth. And exhale to roll one vertebrae at a time down. Inhale to lift. And exhale to roll down. One more time. Inhaling to lift. Exhale to roll down. And then let's inhale to lift and stay here. Lifting the hips up towards the sky, really pressing into the feet, pressing into the hands and the triceps, keeping that chin nice and tucked, and really opening up through the hips here. You might even reach your hands underneath you and draw the shoulders in toward one another and clasp the hands underneath so that you can push the hands onto the ground underneath you and give yourself a little leverage to lift those hips. Notice where you can soften. Check that chin, check that jaw. Maybe switch your clasp underneath you if your hands are clasped so that the awkward side is on top. This might, this kind of has a, a, a quality here that is both difficult and feels good at the same time. So it might be a little bit of a discomfort, but it's okay to be a little uncomfortable to get this relief and this opening in these hips. One more full breath here. And if your hands are clasped, go ahead and release them out to the sides. Roll the spine all the way back down to the earth and draw one knee and then the other in towards the chest. Bring the nose towards the knees. And then place the soles of the feet back down towards the earth. Let's go ahead and keep the soles there, but inhale to reach the arms up overhead, bringing the backs of the hands towards the earth. And you might want to have a little bit of a bend in the elbows here. Maybe they, they feel better when they're fully straight. 
Let's inhale here, and as we exhale, let's let the knees come gently over to the right and take your gaze out to the left. Inhale, knees back to center, and exhale, knees left, gaze right. Inhale, center, exhale, knees right, gaze left. Let it be fluid as you continue alternating from side to side. Maybe getting your knees a little closer to the floor with each wipe. Maybe noticing some snap, crackle pops in the back or the hips as you move. The next time the knees come right and the gaze comes left, let's stay here. If you have that blocker prop handy, you might want to put it underneath the right knee. And just notice what you feel here in the left side body and that left hip. Making space in between the ribs. One more full breath here. And then inhale the knees up toward the sky and exhale knees left, gaze right and stay here for a few breaths. Letting it be soft, relaxing into this pose. Letting the muscles of the face be soft and the jaw relax. One more full breath here. And then let's inhale the knees back to the sky. Exhale, drawing one knee at a time into the chest and the nose to the knees. And then let's go ahead and inhale everything out long. Wiggling the toes, wiggling the fingers. And then let's come into Shavasana. These, a lot of the videos that I post here on Tuesdays and Thursdays are pretty short, so I don't usually incorporate a Shavasana. But today's practice is meant to be restorative, relaxing. You could even do this pose or this whole entire sequence in your bed at night before you go to bed. We'll just open up through the arms, let the palms shine overhead, coming back to that nice balanced breath we established at the beginning. Letting your legs be relaxed, letting your hips be heavy. Relaxing through the arms. Noticing the support underneath your back. Allowing the shoulders to open up and the collarbones to come away from one another. Tucking that chin, softening through the jaw and the eye sockets. Feel free to stay here as long as time allows or drift off to a wonderful night's sleep. Otherwise, I'd like to thank you so much for showing up by bringing my hands to my heart and wishing you peace throughout the rest of your day or evening. Namaste.